You're watching Up Post Live. I'm Abby Huntsman. Sorry, ladies, it is official. Sean Lowe is no longer a bachelor after meeting 26 women. And after a number of awkward row ceremonies, the bachelor has found the love of his life, Catherine Giudici. And they're here with us right now, the lovebirds, to tell us how life is publicly in love. How has it been? I mean, almost 24 hours. Almost 24 hours, and it, it feels great. You know, I can hold her hand and kiss her and hug her in public and... You know, the secret's out. And say I love you, because you said throughout the show you're a very traditional girl. So when he finally said those words, the proposal, I mean, what did it feel like? I mean, it was overwhelming. I was, as you can see, I was just so excited and happy and emotional. But it was, yeah. it was the best. How did it feel to say? Do you say it oh, constantly now? It felt great. Yeah, I, I told her that I'm going to spend every day of my life telling her that I love her. And so far, I've held true to that promise. Because I have to say, there were some viewers, I included, they were worried that you would not actually get down on one knee, that you wouldn't propose. I mean, when your mom said, if you don't know by now, did that go through your mind at all? Well, I mean, there were certain points throughout that whole experience where I thought, maybe this is just a big waste of time. But that last week, I knew I was falling in love yeah. with Catherine. And I knew that I just wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. Yeah. How could you not? Yeah, I mean, everyone Everyone just absolutely loves you, Catherine. And Thank you. I have to ask, because you're both such good looking people, and you're both hilarious, so down to earth, which is what you normally don't see, especially on reality TV. So people would ask, like, why would you guys decide to find love in such a public uh, situation where you have millions of people watching? We both did it for the same reason. I, we did it for the experience. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think I would find love. I joined The Bachelorette for, you know, maybe a, a free trip and just for a vacation. A free trip, a few free trips. And, uh, you know, that's that's spawned into me being The Bachelor and, and realizing that, yeah, you can develop real feelings on a reality show. What about you, Catherine? Yeah, it was the same thing. I, I don't, neither one of us signed ourselves up for the uh, experience, but we were ready to do, I mean, whatever it took, for me at least. And I obviously couldn't be happier. Yeah, well, you guys look so happy. We actually have a video comment from Jeff. Let's take a listen real quick. How's it going? I'm Jeff Miles from Q100 Radio here in Atlanta, Georgia. And first off, I want to say congratulations to Catherine. Your reaction said it all. Sean, now that you've actually proposed, do you know everything you want to know about Catherine? Or now that you are engaged, are you just now beginning the get to know process? That's what I want to know. Thanks. <laughs> but a, you on the spot, Sean. Yeah, that's a good question. I know who she is. I know her heart. Um, and that has not changed since being done with the show. But Every day I'm learning new things about her, and I don't think that's going to change. I'll probably continue to learn What's new the things about her. thing you guys have learned about each other since being off camera? The weirdest thing. Uh, oh, what gosh, did you do that's really weird? so many weird things. Um, we've le learned a lot of weird things. <laughs> like on the show even, like everyone could see that we do multiplication tables together. And I don't know. I saw him do the hula hoop. One time, and it was just, it was I'm, I'm great. A, it I'm was a great, great. Hula hooper. Hula, well, that might, that <laughs> might help you down the road. But, so we wanted to play a little game, because obviously you guys are still getting to know each other. At least at some point you'll be living together. So we wanted to play a game of compatibility to kind of test out who will do certain things once you're married. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. You have to be honest here. Okay. Okay, number one, who snores? I, I'm guilty. Oh, we're both guilty. Both snore. <laughs> you guys are too <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's going to do the laundry? You know, I don't know, Catherine. When when you had the hometown date, your sisters were pretty open about and you I, being oh, a little messy, bit dirty. But that doesn't. No, not dirty. Messy. They made sure. And that I'm a I'm a neat freak, so I I think uh -oh. we might both do the laundry. Uh oh. Yeah. I mean, I'll I I'm gonna definitely pick up more living with him. But so who's gonna cook? I would say maybe sixty forty on her end. Yeah. Maybe more takeout. No, I think I think once we have a place, it's going to be nice to cook. I need experiment. to learn how to cook vegan food. <laughs> Are you a vegan? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be tough. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what about kids? You guys both want kids? Yes. Absolutely. Any idea how soon or how many you want? Have Prob you guys even talked about it? Yeah, yeah. probably not anytime soon. I mean, yeah. we're, we're so busy and we want to just experience yeah. being together and enjoying each other before we... Uh, enter kids into the equation, so probably, probably a few years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, beach vacation or skiing? Mm. Since you experienced both, I guess, on yeah. the back. I, I love both, but if I had to choose one or the other, I think I would go skiing. Really? Well, now, yeah, I mean, it depends on, yeah, we've never done that portion yet. We did glacier, but skiing would be fun. Maybe for the honeymoon. Yeah. You never know, <laughs> but summer wedding, so maybe somewhere warmer. 
Okay, <laughs> beer or wine? Beer for me. Wine. Okay. <laughs> all right, and the most important one of all, the electric slide or YMCA? Ooh. Mm, electric, electric slide. slide. Yeah. Ooh, More current. Good. <laughs> all right, well, current. speaking of dancing, you announced this morning you're doing dancing with the stars. I mean, everyone said you've got great abs, a great figure, very athletic. You got some competition. I mean, you got yeah. moves. Um, I like to think I do. I think other people might say otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work my butt off and put in as many hours as it takes to do really well. And me and my partner, Peta, we are dedicated and committed to winning. She's great. Yeah, You're and, and she's lucky. won before. And so we're, we're putting in the time and effort right now. And uh, You have some gold medalists. You have... I know. It's stiff know. competition, so I have to outwork them. Catherine, have you seen him dance? Not, not in this format. I mean, it's ho nobody really these days does the foxtrot or does, you know, the Argentinian tango. So you never yeah. know what those are, like what that would look like. But he's athletic, he's hardworking, and I has rhythm. So well, that's I'm good. excited to see. My husband, we did the foxtrot. We did lessons for our wedding, and it still was just. <laughs> it so really I hard. wish you guys luck. This will actually be a good. Um, I guess intro into doing It'll prep uh, us the for first the dance, right? Okay, so we have another comment, video comment. Uh, let's take a listen to. Hi, Sean and Catherine. Congratulations. I'm Marley from Montreal. Sean, I know that faith plays a huge part in your life, and I was wondering how important it was for you to find a woman who has the same beliefs as you. Was that one of the requirements in searching for your wife? Thanks. Yeah, I mean, faith is the most important thing to me. It's the center of my life, and it's important that my wife shares the same faith and supports me and we challenge each other in that faith so that's absolutely something I'm looking for in my wife. Is that something that will be part of your wedding, part of raising your kids? I mean are you guys totally together on that? Yeah, yeah I mean that's if it's yeah. the center of your life yeah. it's going to carry over into every area of your life. Yeah. Well obviously a lot of people watched the show play out and you guys watched it after the fact. Were there moments watching it where you guys would be on the phone together where, you know, it was difficult, where you would see Sean with other girls and say, I don't really like that, it's hard to watch. Well, it's not like, yay, fun, but it wasn't, it actually wasn't that bad. It was not too hard to watch. And I understood what he was going through and, and realizing the feelings he developed for the reasons he did. So that was nice to watch and look back on our dates and reflect back on, on the feelings that I had and why we were so great together. Who did you guys watch the show with? Could you, could you be together we, and no. watch it? Yeah, it, all, it, it worked out so that we were always separated. She was in Seattle, I was in Dallas or LA. and So normally I was watching it with close friends back home. Yeah, same, or with my mom. Because I feel like that's the hardest when you hear about other bachelors, they'll say, and I think this is why you guys work, because you're so confident, Catherine, because you watch, you say, you know, this is just what you expect if you're going to sign up for The Bachelor, exactly. like you have to know that that's going to happen. And I feel like there are a lot of girls that aren't as confident as you are. Is that something that you loved right away about Catherine? Oh, she made my life so much easier because <laughs> yeah, she really no has drama. handled it extremely well. She never gave me a hard time. And she's, like you said, she's very confident yeah. in our relationship. Were there any moments watching it back that you regret or that you wish you had handled differently? I think for the most part I have no regrets because I, I made the decisions that were best for me with the information that I had. You know, everyone gives me a hard time about keeping Tierra for so long. Of course, I didn't see the crazy side that America sees when they're watching it on TV. And a lot happens off camera, right? I mean, a lot of times you develop these relationships that we don't get to see. Well, it's not off camera. It's just they choose not to put it on TV. Um, but yeah, you're right. Like a 15-minute date on TV sometimes can take 12 hours to film. So we are spending a lot of time together that the people at home don't get to see. Were there moments that happened with you guys that we didn't get to see, that you'd wish that we had seen? There were a lot of moments. I mean, the one I think that probably pops into our head is after our very first one-on-one -on -one date, we drove back to our hotel, which was like an hour drive, and we were just hanging out and like singing to the songs that came on the radio. And like that's that was a really special time for us, and that's something that I think America would have liked to have seen. Yeah. At what point did you know Catherine? Because I feel like you came off very traditional and uh, not as forward as some of the other girls. Mm -hmm. And your relationship really built up over time. And it was really fun to grow with you guys. But at what point in your mind did you think, this is the man I know I'm going to marry? Well, again, I, the way that I took this whole experience was, what would I do in real life? Uh, my natural progression of a relationship, you'd start off as friends and seeing each other in, in public, and then you dive into a little bit more deeper of conversation. So that's how I handled it. And 
I've you know said this before in Canada our first date I got to see him kind of like frosted and like his eyebrows were gray and it was cool because I saw him in old age and that was kind of the starting point to okay I could see him I could see him being you know my husband you can't say that about everybody right? <laughs> I, I hope I look that good when I'm old. well we have a commenter Ian the one the zero one zero two zero three says I love the show but the bachelor has a horrible track record you and Catherine are such a great couple and I'm rooting for you but how is it going to work this time especially since you're doing dancing with the stars I mean you see obviously you're gonna be the first bachelor to walk down the aisle so when you see you know how how many have have not worked out what are you guys gonna do differently you think well I mean we don't pay much attention to the track record um, we're just we're focused on us and our relationship and she's my primary concern everything else including dancing with the stars is, is secondary and um, that's it. You know, we're just working on a relationship every day, and every day it's getting a little bit stronger. You will for the rest of your life. And yeah. it's amazing. I've been married two and a half years, and I can, I can tell you that. But obviously I have to bring up Desiree because she's the new bachelorette. You guys both got to know her well. What type of guy do you see for Desiree? Ooh. Someone active. Um, she's really, she's up for a lot of challenges, and that was really something that I, you know, connected with her on. Someone who's sweet and understanding. I mean, just a man who's obviously someone yeah. like him, I guess. I mean, she fell for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have a brother, Sean? Des, no, I don't have a brother. But Des is a sweetheart, and she's, I know she's going to do really well because she's very sincere, and uh, America loves her. I know the guys will love her, too. So I'm, I'm hoping that it all works out for so, her. So, I mean, you, obviously you just went through this experience. If you had one piece of advice you were to give Des, what would that be? Be yourself. If you're not yourself, the guys aren't going to get to know who you are, and it's never going to work. So, Des, she's incredible. Just relax, be yourself, don't worry about the cameras. Maybe keep her brother <laughs> away as keep, long as possible. Yeah, maybe keep your brother away, <laughs> I but know, uh, it's Des, tough. Des will be great. Yeah. Okay, well, we actually have a special guest in our hangout. He's from HuffPost Celebrity. His name is Lee Blickley, and he's here to ask some fun questions as part of this series called No Filter. Lee, welcome Hi, to HuffPost Live. Thanks for having me. So go First ahead, all, go ahead, get the, this, these lovers in trouble. <laughs> um, and here at HuffPost Celebrity, we ask you questions so we get to know you a little better off the TV screen. So what are you guys doing for your first public date? Ooh. First public date? You know, we don't have anything planned. <laughs> we just, we've, we've said all along, we just want to be normal. So that may be taking a walk in the park with my dogs, holding hands, or mm -hmm. just grabbing a bite to eat at a restaurant or going to a movie, something very normal. Yeah. Cool. And what's one thing you do when you're alone that you don't do in front of each other? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> do, alone. do alone. Oh, gosh. I don't know. I don't know. Pick out my clothes. <laughs> go through my closet. Pick your nose, probably. <laughs> go to the restroom. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the dumbest thing you've ever read about yourselves? Oh, that's a good I one. recently read that. I donated sperm to my sister hmm. because she was having oh. fertility problems, and that's just weird. I can't top that. <laughs> I can't say I've read that about myself either, so yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. Lee, what and else you got? One, what's one annoying little habit you found out about each other since you've been together? Annoying right. habit? That, no. I, I know I don't want to be attacked for not having an... Something <laughs> yeah, I don't on the top of my mind, but I can't think of anything thing, that she does right? that's really We'll bring annoying. you back in a couple months, and then we'll... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and when's the last time you cried? Yesterday. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know, Catherine, you held it together last night, though. Yeah, that's just... I, I was not focusing on the correct things, apparently. I felt bad. <laughs> she was focusing on what her hair and her face <laughs> well, looked like. obviously. She's in front of millions of people. Um, I cried the day before last. And what shows are always on your DVR? I love Boardwalk Empire. That's my favorite Ooh. show. And then on top of that, I can watch Seinfeld all day, every day. So that comes on 10 times a day anyway. It so does. That's good. I one. always catch Seinfeld. Real Housewives, any of them. Love them. We've had a few of them in that very seat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I have to pull up your Twitter account because it's just hysterical, and I think it describes <laughs> you guys so well. If we can take a look at this. This is why America loves you guys, though. You're just, you don't take yourself too seriously. You're down to earth, and you're just funny. Yeah, so. she, she made one. It was me and my two dogs, and I've had it up for a couple months. So we were excited to 
to add her to the family <laughs> last night. So Take obviously you guys are experiencing what it's like to be in the public eye, being in covers of magazines and people talking about you, a lot of times untrue about your sperm, which is kind of strange. Yeah, weird. So moving forward, I mean, you know that's going to continue. You know that there are going to be more things said. I mean, how do you overcome that? How do you stay strong as a, as a couple? Um, just we, we don't pay attention to it. I mean, it's all silly. 99% of it is fictitious anyway. And we're, like I said, we're just focused on us. We know who we are. We know what we have. That's all that matters. So we're not going to let all the other outside distractions affect us. Exactly. So then what's next? I mean, obviously the focus is on each other. You have Dancing with the Stars, which will be yeah. exciting. Not uh, a slow few months ahead and then a wedding to plan. So, so what is next? You go to L.A. Is that where you're going to be full time as well, Catherine? Yep. I'll be by his side. Rooting them on for Dancing with the Stars. Are you guys gonna be living together? No, we're actually gonna we're gonna keep it separate until we we decide we're gonna stay separate until we get married. Because you were very honest about being a born again Christian, and mm -hmm. I think there are a lot of people that respected that and the overnight suites. You know, I think that you guys handled that very well. But people Thank would you. say, how do you actually get to know each other before getting married if you don't have that intimate relationship? I mean, what would you guys say to that? I There's mean, passion in different ways, and we have a we have a connection and a chemistry that it doesn't really matter about the physical. Yeah, well, I totally agree. Well, you guys, it's so fun having you here, and you Thank seem you. so happy, so in love. Help us live. We really appreciate you guys taking the time. I know you're exhausted, <laughs> and uh, wish you all the luck in the world. Dancing with Stars will be real Thank for you. you. Thank you very much. But thanks, you guys, for being here. We appreciate it. Thanks, Abby. Uh, we've got a lot more coming up, a lot more conversations up next, courtesy of Cadillac. Thanks for joining us.